10 Benefits of Influencer Marketing for E-Commerce Businesses. This is Brett Owens from Influencer. We're gonna talk about these 10 benefits today. First and foremost, we're kicking it off with sales. That's right, actual sales, return on investment. We are gonna put money into influencer marketing. We want to sell product. Yes, the other nine things I'm going to talk about are other nice to haves, but sales is the must have. Now, how do we get sales from influencer marketing? Well, we'll talk about some techniques as we get through these steps and benefits here. But in a nutshell, what we're looking to do is replace advertising that we're doing on other social networks with influencer marketing because it is organic. We are not crafting ads. We don't have users smelling out the scent of ad, of phoniness. We've got real verified influencers, micro-influencers, creators already connected with their audiences that are promoting our product and doing it in a genuine way. The first benefit, first and foremost, is sales. Now, as I mentioned, our second benefit is as we're moving money from ads over to influencer marketing, we are saving money. When was the last time you looked at your Google Ads account and said, gee, that's pretty cheap? How about your Facebook ads? You said, hey, wow, I only spent, that's another $900 out the door on Facebook. That was pretty cheap. It's been years maybe it's been a decade or even two in terms of Google AdWords. We wanna save money. We wanna take money that, you know, spending a dollar to make a dollar if we're lucky, and we wanna move that over to influencers where if we pay somebody a dollar to post, we wanna turn that into five or $10 in sales. Remember that, these asymmetric returns that you and I as business owners look for, that's what we can get when we move money from ads into actual people who are promoting our product. Now in doing so, of course, other fringe benefits, which brings me to our number three benefit, which is increasing our social media following. I know we're all tweeting, we're all posting on Instagram, Facebook, on here, chat, yapping on YouTube and other channels, right? TikTok, this will go on TikTok as well. We're all doing these channels, we're all limited by our reach. Well, as we do more influencer marketing, we're going to increase our social media following and our reach. As our influencers partners post something, they tag us and we are now being exposed to their audience, right? Their community, their world, and we're going to gain followers from it. And more importantly, these are relevant followers. These are potential customers of ours, which brings me to our fourth benefit. We can now reach our ideal customers more perfectly is a better fit, right? So we are finding these communities. Remember, we used to do this when we were all direct marketers back in the day, 10, 20 years ago, and we would say, hey, where's our ideal customer hanging out? That's still the marketing strategy. It's just happening in the influencer world. So the influencer is kind of the chief of their community, and then we're looking to partner with them so that we can, again, reach our ideal target customer. So we're looking for a 42-year-old jazzercise attendee in Kansas City, Missouri or Kansas City, Kansas, we can go ahead and we can find them by reaching the influencer who is speaking to them, right? If we want a 22-year-old traveling the world, we find that person and guess who's following them? Other 20-year-olds who aspire to travel the world. So this is what we're doing. We're finding our specific reach. A 60-year-old who is, specializes in skincare based in the, in the Northeast. That's how we're going to promote our skincare product to other 60-year-olds in the Northeast. So you see what I'm saying here? We've got people already gathered. It's just our job uh, to find them. Now, as we reach our perfect customer, another benefit of just selling more is we get more recurring orders because we've got a good fit. People are finding us and we are not just selling product to sell it for one time, but we've got that customer relationship and the 60 year old from Connecticut is going to continue to buy our skincare products, right? The 42 year old in Kansas City is going to continue to buy our fitness product. And our 21 year old who wants to travel the world is going to continue to buy our bed bug spray to keep their travel bed safe as they uh, travel around the world, right? So we're looking for repeat business as another uh, part of this strategy here. As we go, our sixth benefit is that. We get into these communities, we get into these social media discussions, and we're interacting 
with new and potential customers, which is always great. Have these conversations, get into the comment threads. Our product gets plugged. What do I do when we do a collab with one of our influencers? I get right there on the comment thread and start yapping away. Benefit as a business owner, especially in e-commerce, because a lot of times we're behind uh, the camera here. We're doing things virtually, right? Let's admit it, e-commerce, nice benefit of it. We can typically do things e-commerce. That's why we kept plugging through 2020. But a downside is that we don't necessarily get direct customer interaction. This is a way for us to interact directly with new and also potential customers. Number seven benefit of doing influencer creator marketing, user generated content or UGC. Our influencers are basically filming commercials for us. They're doing all the creative, they're doing all the work and then we're getting to go ahead and just kind of ride their coattails. It's like outsourcing, not only moving money from our ads again to organic, but we're also basically getting a creative team on top of that on the house. So we're paying for them to say produce a reel. Well, they're doing all the creative and all the filming. Now that's my kind of marketing, right? So we're getting all that UGC that everyone struggles to get. Work with influencers and you're good to go on that front. Which brings me to number eight. Another thing that I do when I work with our influencers, ask them for reviews. We all want reviews. Are you looking for reviews on Amazon, on other sites? Cool. Influencers are now using your product. Go ask them, hey, you mind leaving me a review on Amazon? They'll take care of you, especially if they're getting a free product, right? So this is another way they can ask their audience to review your product. Again, another headache that we have as e-commerce business owners, how do we get reviews? Well, let's just tap our new influencer team to get these reviews out there. So as you can see, we're kind of taking over the internet with our strategy here. Uh, the ninth benefit is we can improve our product development as we have more conversations with our end users. We can say, okay, well, geez, I got an idea for our next product. So you can even bounce your idea off of your super users here, right? Your super customers, your influencers, and see where their heads are at with a potential product. So you've got a sounding board for product development and kind of keep stuff and just say, hey, I got this idea, kind of keep stuff under wraps and say, hey, here's what we're thinking. What's your take on uh, this offering? So you can almost involve them in the product development process if you would like. Always beneficial as entrepreneurs, as e-commerce business owners to be able to interact with real customers, right? And figure out what you want to build next. And then my 10th and final tip, but this is a good one. Micro influencers are really where the party is at as business owners, as marketers. They'll give you all the benefit that you'll get from working with influencers, maybe even more, and maybe a fraction, one-tenth the cost. But what it's all about here is about that ROI. It's about that return on investment. So I'm not going with micros just to be cheap. I'm going with micros because they work better from a marketing standpoint because they are laser focused. Someone may have 10,000 followers. That's a decent following. It's not a million, not a Kardashian. It's not a celebrity, right? But 10,000 followers who are laser focused on exactly the type of content that that creator is giving them, whether it's skincare, whether it's fitness, whether it's travel, it could be crypto, it could be business opportunities, it could be anything. But the creator is specifically focused on that interest. Let's find the micro influencers who are focused on that interest. And in doing so, we're going to lower our cost to work with them quite a bit from having to go with the celebrities. And by the way, it's going to work a lot better because, again, marketing 101, we're uh, specifically targeting our ideal end customer and working with, as I mentioned, the chief, sort of the head of that little community, right? And that's who we want to partner up with. So there you have it. 10 benefits of working with influencers to help benefit our e-commerce businesses. Do you work with influencers today? What have you done so far? I'd like to have you leave a comment and let me know if you're doing anything with influencers today. And if so, what's your top benefit of these types of initiatives? 